now, Todd, now that we've discussed what actually comes with this Black Magic data logger, can you tell me a little bit more in depth, as in racer terms now, what the importance of these few sensors that come with every one of our data loggers? Sure. What you'll see is when you download the data from any of our data loggers, you'll see that on the screen, there'll be a representation across the bottom of seconds. So that's mm -hmm. the number of seconds we are into the run. And then up the side, up the vertical uh, part of the screen, you'll see in the case of engine RPM, we'll have it marked off in thousands of RPM. Or in the case of oil pressure, it'll be in PSI. Mm -hmm. so that way we can see and get a graphical representation of what's high and what's low. So we end up with, uh, in the case of engine RPM, which we said was one of the basic sensors that we have there, mm -hmm. we'll be able to tell what our shift points are. Did we hit our shift points? Um, you know, did the converter flash to the proper RPM? Uh, you know, did, did we leave where we thought we were going to leave at? So that's, you know, we can always think that we did a great job in the car, but we have the data logger there to tell if we absolutely right. did it right or not. Um, then we've got, obviously, with engine RPM, we talked about having drive shaft RPM as well. That's very important, too, because a lot of people want to know, well, my 60 foot, why did it fall off? Or why did I, you know, why was it better this run? So we can see if we've got tire spin, if we've got, you know, any slippage, if it really hooks the tire or anything like that. The other thing about having engine and drive shaft RPM is you can look at if your converter guy told you that this thing's going to have 7 or 8 percent slip, well you can look at it down at the far end of the track, you'll see engine RPM, you'll see drive shaft RPM, you know the ratio yeah. between the two right My in the My guy software. always asks me about that, like, you know, right. what, what's your slip? And, and it's easy Before I didn't know. It's so, easy but now enough I to do. see, yeah, right in the software you can see it'll show you that number. So if you have 8 percent slip, you'll see 1.08 hmm. right at the finish line. You can call him back and say, hey, you did a great job, or hey, this thing's got to go back and get reworked. So, gotcha. But in talking with the internal sensors as well, now we had the Excel G that we spoke about. That also factors in. Again, that's the that's the feeling we get when we get pushed back in the seat. You know, the farther Roller we get pushed back. Feeling. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The harder it pushes, the more more G's we're feeling. The harder the car is moving. Right. Um, but in conjunction with engine and drive shaft RPM too, if we see the drive shaft RPM rise very quickly and engine RPM uh, increase quickly, and we've got the G meter falling, we're clearly not going ahead as quickly as we thought. We're right. spinning the tire, okay. we've got wasted motion. So that's hmm. an important one. Um, keeping with the G meters too, we were talking about it comes with the lateral G meter. So the lateral G meter is going to tell us whether or not we kept the car in the groove. Did we you know, move a little to the left, to the right? You know, I thought, I thought I kept that right in the groove, it was perfect, and then why do we have so much G meter movement out of the right hand side? Well, maybe that's why I got uh, yeah. a, a, a whole lot of guardrail in the uh, in the side window. So. Right. That's why they say uh, it took you half mile to drive a quarter mile. What the heck? Exactly. Nice. You can go back and either prove them wrong or they can prove themselves to be right. <laughs> and nice. then we also talked too uh, internally. We have the battery volts. So this is very useful for seeing when we had an um, uh, some type of an event, like uh, in the case of a nitrous car. If we've got the solenoids going off, you can see when the stages are active, oh or yeah. when the when the car left the starting line, the trans brake release, you'll see that draw down ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. It's also useful too if you're suspecting you have an ignition problem or anything like that, if it's battery related, because you'll be able to see in the case of a car running like a 16 volt battery, if it's sitting there and, and showing a steady decline at 11 or 10 volts, eh, we probably need to look right. at replacing the batteries. Hmm. And that controls a lot of stuff in the car, so mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. So, well cool, thanks for, uh, thanks for the info and, you know, hope that helped a little bit in regards to, you know, the racer terms and you know helps you guys understand a little bit more more fun. Hope to see you out there. <laughs>